Hello, praise him, praise the Lord. Uh, just to give you encouragement this Sunday morning that the journey that you are on, God has your back as long as you abide in the ship, as long as you focus on him, as long as you not do not look at the challenge, you do not look at the obstacle, you do not look at the problem, but you look at him. He has a solution for you. Right now is a time that people are seeking the Lord more. People are focusing more on studying the word, staying in prayer and worship and fasting. Uh, even there is a group, uh, people from uh, my country and my language, they are, it's, we call it Bible study challenge. So many chapters a day and we are running with it. Uh, the prayer groups uh, are getting stronger and forming your church. Wherever it is that you are fed, you are getting fed in your spirit, stick and abide in the ship. The most important thing during coronavirus, during lockdown, sit with your children. Sit with your family. Start a new tradition, if you didn't have one already, of prayer. You might not be able to pray in person. Pray using your phone. There are some... Uh, apps that you can pray as a group, daily prayer, uh, daily get-togethers. We were so blessed, so amazed that when we started lockdown, our children, uh, the ones that are in Africa, the ones that we are taking care of, it, the Lord spoke to their heart to go into fasting in these different days. And, you know, we, we, we give them word, we, we teach them Bible study. Uh, we have technology, we have phones and things like that. And one day, God just answered them. All four of them were filled with the Holy Ghost. From like uh, the age of 14 to the age of about 10, 10, 9 years old. We were so, so amazed. We were so blessed. We were in tears. Because it's something we did not expect. It's something that we knew it would take a while. Because the children, they need, we knew they needed God to nurture them and heal them and walk with them a journey. But God answered us in one day, all four of them. It, 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 it encouraged me to encourage other women and other believers. The little things that you are doing along the way, they mean a lot. The prayers of the righteous availeth much every prayer that you pray every word of encouragement that you speak with them because my brothers and sisters only the Lord can keep us in these last times only the blood of Jesus is going to keep us in these last times and the keeping that I need might be a little bit different from the keeping that you need and that your family needs but through the same word of God, through the same Holy Spirit, God is going to be able to keep us and lead us if we abide in the sheep the right way. So this is just to encourage you. Numbers in churches, numbers in prayer groups, the number of friends that you have does not mean anything. It's the quality of people that are around you. Seek to connect with the right people in your journey and abide in the ship and help the people that are connected to you even the ones that are living far from you help them abide in the ship some of the people that we are connected to by distance they are not receptive to the word of god you know what the god that created them is able to reach them and minister to them and pull them out of the fire in due time break the shackles of the enemy in due time if we do not give up if we faint not in praying for them pre uh, praying and standing in the word for them fasting for them and sharing the word of the lord for them god can reach them god can heal anything can restore anything can deliver anybody can fix anything so be encouraged and abide in the ship and stick with Jesus. May He lead you and guide you. Do not faint. When you see some news that are discouraging and some are terrifying, remember these are the last days. All you, what we know to do, pray. 
Pray for the stronghold of the enemy to continue breaking down. Pray for people of God to be protected and covered. Pray for the innocent to be protected and covered. And above all else, pray that the word of God may be received and pe more people will be saved and baptized in Jesus' name in these last days. Because at the end of the day, what matters is, are we going to make it to heaven? So may you be blessed. Again, this is, this is uh, Sister Felicia Buki Sims. And I'm just here to encourage you that abide in the ship and stick with Jesus.